hi everyone welcome back to the channel this is lone star chick plans and i have been mia for about a month i just been having a lot going on and i had to just take a step back because it was just too much also hadn't been feeling well and just a lot going on so um i'm just gonna get the budget closed out for september we'll get into october I think this is where we left off and we'll just get caught up. So let's get into the numbers and I'll try to keep this video kind of short. So this is paycheck number two for September. This is kind of where we left off. And as you can see, we're ending with a negative $1.39 in our account and um, you'll see why. So for rollover, we had $412.05 um, for income. Um, so this, just to back up a little bit, this is, um, I am semi-monthly paid, so I only get paid twice a month. Um, so this budget is basically the second half of the month, which is on or about the 14th to the 29th for me. So, um, that is kind of how I did the budget for this paycheck. Those were the dates. And so for total income, we had 2,373.61. And my paycheck number two was $2,058.92. My son contributed $200. My daughter gave me $40 for her cell phone. And our house savings account, we did pull in some, uh, about $74.69 for um, an expense that we had to make. And so we'll get into that below. For savings, our house savings always gets $125 off the top. So that is what we did there. Um, my SoFi IRA contributed $10 as usual. Um, and, um, Hulu was the only bill we had to pay this paycheck and that was $3 and 24 cents. And that was paid, um, came in on budget and everything, um, for debt. We did pay our loan number two, which is my student loans. And that was two seventy five. dollars um, discover. I wanted to pay a thousand, but I was a little bit short. So I did pay $975. Um, so almost a thousand, which a thousand was my goal. And so I got, I, I paid $975, um, for groceries. So let's get into the variables. So what I budgeted was $981. What actually happened was $1,398.81, which is a difference of over budget $417.81. And let's get into the numbers here. So for groceries, we were definitely over budget. I budgeted 550 because I knew we did need some extra stuff like household goods. So groceries for me. <clears throat> a lot of it is household related items like paper goods, you know, toilet paper, paper towels, plates, napkins, like this is just all encompassing. That's just easier for me. This also may include some toiletries here and there. Um, so um, I just put it all together because I do just cash it out with my grocery um, bill and it's just easier for me to keep up and I don't have to break that stuff out. So I don't really separate those things. I just kind of keep it all together. So I budgeted 550. What I spent was 560.87, so we were ten dollars and eighty-seven cents over budget. So that's not too bad. Um, eating out was seventy-five dollars, and I was over budget nine dollars and sixty-four cents. Um, gas I budgeted seventy-five, and we were under budget by twenty-four seventy-four. For pets I budgeted fifty-one dollars, and we only spent thirty-three fifty-four. So I was under budget seventeen dollars and forty-six cents. Um, for beauty because it was like a magic month or whatever, so that kind of threw my schedule off. So instead of paying for one last refill per paycheck i ended up this paycheck having to take a hit for two so that was 130 dollars. so spending i budgeted 100 dollars as usual we definitely went over um by 120.97 so that was 220.97 is what was spent for laundry so you guys our laundry our washing machine broke um so i had to unexpectedly um unexpectedly pay to go to the laundromat to wash our clothes and do our laundry and so i took out forty dollars from the bank to do that um medical i what was the medical for i can't recall what the medical was for we'll see down in the spinning once we get there so that was 49 dollars, and that was unbudgeted household um ended up spending 154.84 and that was unbudgeted and then appliance so this was for the appliance company to come out and take a look at our washer and see if we could save it um, or if we were going to have to get a new one. And so that was $74.69. So that was also unbudgeted. I did pull this money, um, $74.69 from our house savings, which is kind of like our emergency fund for times like this. And so I did pull those funds and um, add that to the budget. So that was kind of like a wash. 
but I do want to account for it so that is what I put there so now let's get into the spending a little bit so the first um few is what we spent for um bills out of our checking so white is what we spent out of our checking account blue is what i put on my american express blue cash preferred which is grocery subscrip subscriptions and gas and then um yellow is for my capital one saver rewards card and that is what i put for everything else for everyday spending so that i am maximizing my cashback rewards and so um let's go down the list so we have our house savings for 125 we have our loan number two, which is student loans, and that's two seventy-five. Our SoFi IRA contribution that was ten dollars. Our um, so I took out forty dollars from the ATM for the laundry mat. Um, I did purchase um, some tumblers from Bucky's for twenty-seven oh four. Um, Murphy, we put gas for twenty four twenty five. Hulu was three twenty four. Kroger, we spent on groceries was eighty fifty seven. I did spend ten dollars on Google for a subscription. Um, Bucky's was another twenty six oh one, and I did cash in twenty five thirty five in rewards for my American Express card. So, and I did apply that to sp the spending category. Um, so, next down the list we have my um lash refill which was 65 um medical was 49 dollars y'all i i'm not sure what this was from i'll have to go back and look but yeah medical for 49 dollars um i did buy a um soda container for our fridge um just kind of like an organizer thing that was 26.67 i did spend 480 dollars and 30 cents at heb for groceries um i did a huge grocery haul um, Amazon, I did buy a container for $15.33. That was for, I think, my pantry. Um, I'm still kind of, re not revamping, but kind of like just additional organizing in my pantry. Um, and so I got a container that was $15.33. Um, I did get some um, reusable pill bags. They're like reusable Ziploc bags um, from Amazon. And that was $10.66. That's for all my medications and my supplements and stuff that I need to take every day. And so I just want to be able to take it with me wherever I go and just throw it in my bag. So I'm just preparing them at the beginning of the week, throw it in my bag and let's go. So that's what I'm doing there. And they're reusable. So I don't have to buy them again. And they came with like a bunch. I only need like seven for seven days, right? No, it came with like 30 or something so I have plenty um so that was good um 2242 was creatine so I'm starting a fitness journey um I need to get healthy I've just been having a lot of physical problems my job is a little bit sedentary and that's not helping my situation um so I'm under <laughs> a lot of doctor's cares right now for allergies for my heart um i'm having some diabetes problems and so i just need to really get my butt in gear and try to be more healthy i don't eat super crazy i don't eat a lot of junk food i don't eat drink a lot of sodas like i just it's just ever since my hysterectomy last november it's just just my hormones and everything have just been going crazy i've put on a little bit of weight and i just really need to lose weight so I've been making a lot of changes, which is why I also haven't been feeling well because of all the medications they have me on now and just my body getting adjusted and then the hormone situation. So it's just been crazy. Um, I felt like a mess. I've been having problems with my hands with, um, uh, what do you call it, carpal tunnel. So I, I've gotten seen for that. Um, they gave me some cortisone injections in my hands. We're going to see if that works. If that doesn't work, then I'm going to have to have the carpal tunnel surgery because I need my hands, y'all. So... It's just been a lot. Um, so that kind of is a little bit of why I've kind of been MIA this last month. I just haven't felt well. It's been a lot of doctor's appointments. It's just been a lot going on. Um, we also are trying to help my mom um, prepare for a move to find a new apartment. So we've been, you know, apartment hunting and stuff like that. It's just been a lot, y'all. It's just been a lot. So um, that's what's been going on in my life. Um, so... Back to the spending. So $44.37, I got a fitness journal, some exercise bands, and a measuring tape so I can track my um, fitness and stuff like that. So that was $44.37. Um, I did get some several slacks um, on Poshmark for $40.54. And, and y'all, these were brand new with tags, just discounted, obviously. Um, 
and so I got them from Poshmark. I did spend $28.17, so y'all, I do my nails myself, and some of my drill bits are getting, you know, worn out because they are kind of old, so I went ahead and bought a new set, and that was $28.17. I did um, spend $9.60 and get a little USB-powered fan for my desk at work because I've been working out on my lunch breaks, and it's really hot when I get back, so um, I need a fan to survive. Um, my office is bipolar, so when it's hot outside, it's cold inside. When it's cold in, when it's cold outside, it's hot inside. So we're about to get into the summer season in my office, and so I definitely need a fan. Um, Seventeen dollars and fifty-four cents. I went out with some coworkers to Papa's barbecue, and y'all, it's kind of pricey. So that was seventeen dollars and fifty-four cents for some barbecue. I spent two seventeen at McDonald's for some breakfast. I spent eleven twenty five for lunch, um, ten sixty six for a drill bit case. So this is for my e file. Um, so it's kind of like a nail drill, and then for all the bits and all the pieces and everything that I can put in a case and just grab and go. So I was ten sixty six. Um, I did get my husband some lunch at eleven for eleven thirty six at Whataburger. <clears throat> um let's see here what else do we have we're almost done um 529 at mcdonald's and i believe that was for breakfast so a sandwich and a coffee um i spent 33.54 on dog food 32.48 at sally beauty supply so i bought a bunch a bunch of stuff there i had a good sale going on so i got like some heat protectant spray some shampoo um just like I think it was like two sets of shampoo and conditioner so it was like four and then I got some um heat protectant um coconut oil spray so that was $32.48 um $9.99 I spent at Raising Cane's for lunch one day when I went to the doctor $2.17 at McDonald's for a breakfast sandwich $65 um for my lash refill we spent $22.70 for dinner one night at Domino's $2.17 at McDonald's again for another breakfast sandwich, $112.84 at Target. Um, so I bought some organi organizational supplies plus um, some paper goods like um, I think I bought some containers for my detergent. But I also, because it was my hands, I can't lift the big detergent bottles to put in my um, washing machine. So I had to um, get something a little bit smaller that I can just pour into and then pour out of that into the machine so that's what I did and then we also needed like toilet paper paper towel stuff like that so I got that all at Target while I was there because they had a special and so I ended up getting a $15 gift card back um which I still have to to use to spend um going forward I got a couple of shirts um just basic t-shirts not t-shirts but like you know just shirts that I can wear with um slacks and just everyday stuff and that was $20.78 I mostly just have either t-shirts or blouses to wear to work and so this is just like regular shirts um not anything dressy not a t-shirt um just a regular shirt um then this was a appliance repair and that was 74.69 and then i cashed in ten dollars and forty cents in rewards and then i paid my discover card for 975 dollars so because of all of that that left us with um i did over calculate a little bit or miscalculate and that was a negative one dollar and thirty nine cents so overall, for the month of um, September, which was the end of August to the end of September, we were actually, I think, not too bad. Um, I did make $1,600 in debt payments. We did pay bills for $675. We had a total of almost $2,300 in expenses, and our income was $4,791, so almost $4,800. Um, we did manage to save $250 and then we had $10 of investment. So all in all, I would say it was an okay month. Um, it wasn't the best. Um, it wasn't the worst. We just had a lot of stuff come up. It was a little bit more of a spending month. As you guys can see, we were overall over a budget $563.10 on our spending. Um, but I did meet my goal for debt payments. So that was pretty good. That stayed on track. And so I am not too unhappy with how the month went. Um, if I wouldn't have been able to make the debt payment, I think that would have changed things. But anyways, um, that's how we looked for the end of September. Not too bad. And we will go into the month of August in the next video. So stay tuned, you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.